Open the door. Vinay works in an insurance company. His company keeps sending him from one place to another to meet customers, due to which he could not keep his house at one place. This time he had to go to a small hilly area of Nepal for about one month. Therefore, this time he also took his wife along. Only he and his wife lived in the family. Both Vinay and his wife set out for Nepal. Anyway, it was cold weather and it was snowing heavily in Nepal. They had reached their home. He had to struggle a lot to reach his house because the house was in a hilly area in a small village. Because of which both of them were very tired. It was 12.30 in the night. The other houses where he was living were far away from each other. There was strong cold wind and snow falling outside. Both of them were resting under their quilt when suddenly they felt that someone had knocked on the door of their house. Then they thought that who knows what might have been the reason for the strong wind. That is why they ignored it. Next morning, Vinay left for the work for which he had come. His wife was alone at home. He was not able to understand how to spend his time sitting at home, so he thought why not go out and see something. It was cold outside but there was no wind. That's why she wore her sweater and got ready to go out. As soon as she opened the gate of her house, she saw a small child standing behind a pillar near the house. Who is watching him secretly? Vinay's wife called him but he did not come and he ran away from there. Next day also something similar happened, the boy was seen staring at him again. This time his wife caught hold of the child and asked what are you doing here. That child did not speak or tell anything. Even when Vinay's wife asked him about his house, he was not saying anything. Finally, when asked his name, he told his name as Surya in a low voice and then ran away from there. He did not understand his behavior. This sequence continued like this. The child kept looking at her from behind the pillar every day. That day was Sunday night. Both of them were warming themselves by the fire in front of the fireplace in the house because the condition outside was very bad, so bad that if someone went out for a while, he could lose his life. Suddenly someone knocked at the door, both of them thought again that maybe this was happening because of the wind. Then again someone knocked at the door. This time the sound of knocking was clearly heard. Both of them got scared after hearing this sound because who could be there in the cold that can take their lives so late in the night. Both were just looking at each other. Suddenly the sound of crying started coming from outside the door. Then Vinay said in a loud voice. Who is Bahar? There was no sound for some time but later a faint voice came, open the door. Please open the door, it is very cold. This voice was of a small child. Then Vinay's wife found this voice familiar and said that it seemed to be the voice of the same child who used to stand outside the house every day. Vinay's wife said that we should bring him inside. She was just running towards the door when suddenly her house phone rang. The call was from a woman living in the neighborhood whom Vinay's wife had met today. Vinay's wife picked up the phone. The woman's voice came from there, Hello, yes, I had forgotten to tell you that if anyone knocks at the door outside your house, do not open it. Vinay's wife said that right now a child's voice is heard outside my house asking to open the door. Then the woman said, No, don't open it at all, it is actually a spirit. Here, whenever there is a strong storm or cold, he goes outside everyone's house and asks them to open their doors. He makes the excuse of cold and tries to open the door. If someone opens the door even by mistake, he is found buried in snow the next day. As soon as he heard this, it was as if the ground slipped from his feet. She started thinking that the person knocking outside the door was actually a spirit. They did not open the door. The very next day both of them ran to the neighbor and asked about the whole matter. 
The woman told that a family used to live in this village. Due to the collapse of the mountain, that family was destroyed and only one child survived. He would go to other people's houses and ask for food. One day there was a very heavy snowstorm. He was knocking on the doors of other people's houses and requesting them to come inside the house. But no one listened to his plea, everyone was hiding in their homes because of the cold. Yesterday morning the child's body was found stuck in the snow. Even today, whenever there is a strong snowstorm, his spirit comes to everyone's house and pleads. Both were surprised to hear all this. But the same thing happened to him three to four times during his stay there for a month. But after Winner's work was over, he left from there. But Winner's wife always had a mystery in her mind that after that incident the child whom she used to see every day outside the house was never seen.